The Alternative Credit Project is really about opportunity and access. It provides students with a flexible pathway toward attaining their post-secondary credential in which they can take courses from these non-traditional providers that are of the same type of quality that you would find on a higher ed campus across this country. We know that the, the traditional student is no longer the traditional student. Actually what we have come to know as the non-traditional student or post-traditional student or disenfranchised student or underprivileged student in this country has become the norm. When I think of the ideal student who's going to take advantage of the ACE Alternative Credit Project, I think of the single mom for whom the traditional academic calendar just doesn't fit her busy life. But the ACE Alternative Credit Project does. It offers a flexible pathway toward degree attainment. I was really very excited from the first time I heard about this project. There are a variety of courses that are out there, MOOCs and low-cost courses and no-credit courses, and the non-traditional and post-traditional students from around the country are taking these courses and oftentimes they don't lead anywhere. I think we stand a great chance of getting individuals off of just taking courses and really into degree programs and actually have them help them become degree completers. The landscape of higher education has changed. It is estimated that 32 million Americans aged 25 to 64 have some credit but no degree. Our current attainment goal is to increase adult degree holders by 60% by 2025. This project gets us one step closer to achieving that goal. As a faculty member who teaches online, one of the real benefits of ACE's Alternative Credit Project is seeing the impact that it has on students in the classroom. When I received an email from one of my current students saying, thank you ACE for granting me credit recommendations for my military service and the knowledge and skills that I gained, that right there makes the work that we do here at ACE and within this alternative credit project worthwhile. Part of our mission with this project is to lower those barriers to receiving a full education and being able to use it as applied skills in the workforce. The ways in which we are doing that through this project is creating an ecosystem in which students can obtain credit through low cost or no cost sources by studying and taking assessments that prove that their quality of education is equivalent to what that would be in a college setting. And then inviting providers to accept those credit recommendations based on those courses in order to help students move forward in their path. The idea of creating an environment in which A, there are essentially certified courses that individuals can take, B, that we've created this system where the colleges and universities will agree to take them for transfer credit, but then find a way to tell potential students about the courses and link them with the course content and the, and the providers and the institutions that will receive them. I think that ecosystem is really what's going to help this work. There is a very specific level of rigor that is being rubricized that is um, being attached to the kinds of reviews that these courses will be undergoing. And then on the other side, there is a group of institutions, 25 to 50 institutions, who have agreed to accept all or most of the credit recommendations that will go with this particular set of 80 to 100 courses that are undergoing this very particular kind of course review within this ecosystem. We began the project by looking at the concept of instructional design, but we extended our work beyond just instructional design, and we looked at three key areas. First, we looked at criteria that the providers ought to be judged against. We looked at criteria that related to course design and course quality and course delivery, and then we looked at criteria that related to learner engagement and learner support. The criteria will be used in two key ways. First, ACE will apply the criteria to measure the providers to determine whether or not they're bona fide organizations and whether or not they ought to be able to participate in the Alternative Credit Project. Second, ACE will identify faculty from around the academy who will use aspects of the criteria to measure the courses themselves, looking at overall course quality, looking at course delivery, looking at outcomes, looking at assessments in particular, all designed to help ACE understand whether or not a particular course will allow students to achieve the stated learning outcomes of that course. The ACE Credit Recommendation Service is the service that is being used in order to validate the quality of those courses and to provide the credit recommendations that go with them.
ACE established the College Credit Recommendation Service in 1974 to help students gain access to academic credit for non-regionally accredited formal training. Through our in-depth evaluation process, expert faculty reviewers examine workplace training programs and make recommendations for college credit. Colleges then consider these recommendations and award credit as appropriate. ACE has conducted over 35,000 evaluations and worked with over 2,000 institutions. The primary goal of the project in terms of developing criteria for evaluation was to create an environment in which faculty reviewers could measure courses in the same way that a college or university would. The ACE review process is very rigorous. Uh, from a faculty reviewer uh, perspective, what we need to see from the course is everything that the student sees. So we look at the syllabus, we look at the test banks, uh, we look at uh, the, even the instructor uh, credentials, we look at their resumes to see what kind of experience they have and if that experience is commensurate with what a, a professor uh, would need to have uh, at a college or university. Typically, when a student presents a course for transfer credit to an institution, they're presenting that from a regionally accredited university. The receiving institution will look at the course, determine whether or not the learning outcomes are appropriate, and if it comes from a regionally accredited university, they'll accept the credit. We need to create an environment in which institutions will look at the ACE process for the Alternative Credit Project and trust the courses really in the same way that they would of a regionally accredited institution. One thing that I find unique about the ACE review process is the diversity of the teams. There will always be at least two or three faculty members evaluating one course. The future of the program really does rest on institutional acceptance of the recommendations that go with these trainings and so forth. We have a large number of institutions that participate with us that can attest to the fact that the rigor of the examinations of these courses and assessments is equivalent to the rigor of any kind of course or assessment that occurs on a college campus. We find that those first few semesters are so critical to their success and ACE transfer credit gives them that momentum at the beginning that they need to succeed. We know that there are many students who have the opportunity to learn but are not taking advantage of their opportunities due to lifestyle concerns, the concerns about cost of obtaining an education, and other barriers that they are encountering. Our students are able to apply ACE transfer credit to uh, general education credits, to, to elective credits, and in some cases to credits in, in uh, the, the required major courses. The courses that will be a part of this ecosystem are going to be under a microscope. They're going to be reviewed for the outcomes to make sure the outcomes are, su are sufficient, the type of engagement across students, between students and instructors, the support system that the provider provides. Uh, we'd like to make sure that the quality and the reputation of the service stays as high as it is right now and we consider ourselves to be one of the best providers of validation for college experiences that do not take place in the classroom uh, in the United States market today. Innovating and imagining beyond the traditional classroom setting, semester schedule, and mode of delivery is how progress will be achieved in the new higher education landscape. As the major coordinating body for the nation's higher education institutions, ACE is bringing together colleges, universities, and third-party providers to increase post-secondary education access and attainment.